Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the new video. I am Rohit Desai, co-founder of JB Experts. Uh, been a very long time. Uh, we didn't upload any kind of a videos. A uh, bit busy with a lot of other stuffs. So uh, we are here today and we are going to start a very new series that is going to be the product selection series. So let's see uh, how the things works here. So today we have picked a product which is called as Select. Select so Wax, uh, it has multiple applications. We can, uh, we'll go ahead with this. So you'll understand better. So Silac is basically, it's a, it's a bug kind of a thing. So uh, Silac bugs is normally, it's on a branches where they uh, make a house and then they penetrate, then they create the wax and all of it. So that is mainly used in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, uh, license and uh, wood finishing. So it even it is used as a polish and all of it. So today's world, you can see all the qualities and all whatever we get. That is being like coated, there is some kind of a shiny stuff on it. So that is what it is. So maybe if you are um, like females, normally if you are uh, a lady, you know that, okay, what's the polish? And uh, there is a lo lot many brands in uh, Shellac uh, kind of a products, which is already there. People uh, use that kind of a nail polish or uh, wax and a lot of it. So similarly, that is for kids and candies, fruits and all of it. So, so this is the HS code. If you want to check on this, this is the Indian HS code. That's uh, eight digit. And uh, this is the description of it. Okay. So you can, the importance of understanding the HS code is going to be like, okay, whether I'm getting a benefit, what is the rules and regulation? Is it exportable, not exportable? So that is something which we are going to look at. So the thing here is, so rules and regulations uh, as per export policy, it's freely exportable. There is no restrictions at all. It's uh, it's never been banned. That's a good thing about this product. It's never been banned. So you can really work on that product. And then uh, why ASEAN uh, free trade agreement is mentioned here is the only thing here is uh, there are a lot of markets. Uh, Asian market is very near. And moreover, you have an extra benefit there because of uh, this trade agreement, you have a lot of uh, tax exemptions, which is 0% duty on the import duties in that country. So that is the extra benefit. And uh, duty drawback, if you look towards this, is like 0.15% uh, if you are importing something and then you are working it around. The machinery is what you import. Basically, you get a duty drawback there. So market analysis uh, for this product on uh, 20, uh, uh, 2021 to 2023, if you look towards Canada, USA, UAE is the significant growth. For USA, it's around 800% growth, uh, growth in value. So that really uh, makes a potential market. and especially why this product this is an indian product again people don't know about it much but i'll show you a few more images so that you can have a look towards that so then uh, upcoming markets uh, sri lanka and nepal again neighborhood you can really look into uh, for the future potentials so the benefits what we are going to get here is uh, 0.5 percent uh, per kg on uh, fob value so whatever we have so this is going to be like refund duties taxes local central legal uh, uh central state whatever the taxes you are paid that you get it as a refund of 0.5 percent uh that is not uh, remittable anywhere else it's in the script format okay in the conclusion what i wanted to say the conclusion of the presentation uh, station not of the video okay so here you can mainly focus on the highly growing market one is the us uh, and the new market what you can focus is the sri lanka and nepal so it's working there and moreover uh, look towards the significant uh, rules and regulations to make sure your export runs very smoothly. So, any questions, if you have, uh, drop it into the uh, comment box. And obviously, if you want to contact with us, so these are the contact details. So, let's go deep into the product. So, Silac is nothing but, let me show you one uh, image. Okay, uh, this is the exact image what I was talking about. These are the insects. These are the small bugs, if I have to call it. So these bugs are placed on the branches. Normally, uh, it is natural. And second thing, many times what, what the farmers do is, they have this uh, that bugs, right? So they stick it onto the other wood and then they penetrate it. So that bugs will reproduce and then they make the colony and they spread it out. So once they spread it, this is something which you get it on the branches. So what the farmers do is, they cut that uh, stump and then they pull off this whole uh, thing. And then the, from there, they are going to segregate it, grade it, and all of it. Look at this. These are the images. We don't have any relation with this company. This uh, company, what I'm referring here, because they had a very good website, uh, which can give you a good knowledge on, on this product. So that's the only reason. Respect to that. 
we don't have any relation with this company you can uh, it's not even a way that we are promoting them okay so luck uh, so look at this these are all whatever they get the glue right so the bugs one uh, where is it this one, whatever they get it, they wash it and then they put it for a sun drying. So there is a particular texture what they have to get. If they get that texture, that's all. Uh, if you leave more into the sunlight, it turns black and the prices will be affected. And then this is how the farming is. So they grade it, they sort it and uh, they hand pick. Very labor intensive, in, especially in the rural market because this is normally grown in the rural side. So you have a very good there. Uh, the main certifications what you need is the FSSI and uh, uh, SILAC and Forest Products uh, Export Promotional Council and IEC for sure. Okay, so this is the product and uh, you can see various types of these products. It's a similar products. Okay, so these are mainly used in food coating. So especially for your uh, gums, chewing gums, uh, jelly bees, uh, uh, what do you call uh, gems, what do you call the small ones, the chocolate beans or something like that. So that is being coated, and more, uh, moreover, especially this all citric fruits. Uh, even I don't know on apple they use the same thing or not, but they use a different kind of a wax. But these are the waxes they use it for, and moreover, these are the same kind of a uh, chemical or or the wax is used on your nail polish, various waxes, all of stuff. So you can do a proper research. This is the first step I'm going to give you. Uh, based on this, you can uh, build it for yourself. I mean, in uh, pharmaceutical products, the tablet coatings, the shiny works, and all of it. And the same thing is being used in the wooden works. So, for polishing and all. So, normally you have a whole brand in the same thing. So, that polishing is, was very dominantly placed in the US market. So, US is the biggest market, guys. So, if you want to start working on that, that's a really good thing. So, US is a very good market. What the, the first thing after understanding, you need. Based on this uh, case study, you shouldn't jump into the business. The one thing what you need to understand here is, one, I know now the product, I didn't know I knew about it and it's something, uh, this company is from Kolkata as far as I know it. So here and there, whatever you can check out. So yeah, this is a Kolkata based company. So you can see whether where the volume is coming from, which state and uh, how the things can be cashed up and uh, what are the prices. I got to know that the prices are half because recently we got an inquiry, so that's the basis of it. And it's a cosmetic industry, so that's really working it up. So you can check uh, what the pricing is happening in the market. You can procure that. Uh, even if you have a capacity to invest on machineries to get the get the things sorted, even you can do that too. Okay. So this is the main thing. So food wax, uh, food coating, packaging film, and then uh, firming agents, and then more uh, what you call it, the mixtures, right? So food delivery systems, whatever you, if you understand this well and good, I don't understand this. Okay. So uh, this is what it is being used. So based on this, you can start building your product, look into it. I don't say uh, just by understanding this video, you need to jump in. You can go search on it, go for uh, YouTube, uh, check on few more videos on the, the same thing. So if this things works for you guys, then nothing like it. Okay. Uh, go and find. Uh, this is a freely exportable product, no restrictions at all. Uh, US is a big market, neighborhood is a big market, uh, and even Rota benefit is also a bit there, 0.15% uh, per, per kilo. So that is something which you can evaluate and take a benefit out of it. Okay. So this is the first video on the product series. Uh, hopefully, you may like it. Uh, I have, if you have any feedbacks to us, so please drop it in the comment box and obviously give us your support by subscribing or hitting a like button. Or even if you have any feedback saying that, okay, what's good, what's bad, please go ahead and drop it in the comment box and look into it. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.